On June 23, 2020, the 55th Beidou Navigation Satellite and the last global networking satellite was launched. So far, China's Beidou Satellite Navigation System has been completed, and global communication can basically be realized. The global positioning system of the United States, which is the GPS we are more familiar with, launched all satellites as early as 1994 and has accumulated a large number of users around the world. The technology of the US is more mature and the popularity is higher. In addition, Russia also has its own satellite navigation system BLONASS. Moreover, European Union, Japan, India and other countries also have their own satellite navigation. Now, there are countless spacecraft in space. According to NASA's report, the number of satellites in the United States is now 2,944, and that of Russia is 169. So, how many satellites does China have? What is the overall satellite situation of China, the United States, and Russia? Hi! Welcome to Hot Topics Time, a channel to interpret news from a new perspective and explore the wisdom behind the news. Before we start today's video, please subscribe to our channel, which is the encouragement that we can create more videos. Okay, let's continue the topic we are talking about. 1. Satellite Overlord, the United States The United States explored space very early, launching the first artificial satellite in 1958. In the historical background of the U.S.-Soviet struggle for hegemony, the United States has spent a lot of effort in space exploration, bringing together high-end talents from all over the country to promote the development of space technology. In 1964, the United States launched the first communication satellite, making long-distance communication systems a reality. By 1984, the United States had launched 923 satellites, leading the world in both quality and quantity. In the 1970s, considering future combat needs, the U.S. military wanted to build a global positioning platform for accurate strikes. Therefore, the launch of satellites has become more important, and the U.S. aerospace industry also reached its peak during this period. This precision strike plan is the GPS that many of us use now. It was originally used by the U.S. military to locate frontline commanders in wars, convey the enemy's hidden location, and accurately implement beheading plans. The Gulf War in the 1990s is the best example. From this war beyond the times, all countries in the world have seen the advantages of satellite positioning and began to develop their own satellite positioning systems. In addition, the United States has gained a lot of benefits from the GPS system. When the military system was relatively mature, the civilian version became popular all over the world becoming a helper in road driving, urban rescue and other fields. At the same time, the United States' new generation space program Starlink is also underway. The overall idea is to launch about 12,000 satellites with various functions in low Earth orbit to meet the communication and positioning needs of people in different regions of the world. So far, the United States has launched a total of 989 Starlink satellites, which can basically achieve connection coverage in North America. There will be a certain number of satellite launch plans every year, and it is expected to complete the Starlink within 10 years. In short, the number one position of the United States in the satellite field cannot be shaken for the time being. They have decades of accumulation, a higher level of technology, rich experience, and occupy a leading position in the aerospace industry. 2. Russia is gradually falling behind. Russia's predecessor, the Soviet Union, was the first country in the world to launch satellites, and once took the lead in the aviation field. However, due to internal and external difficulties, Russia gradually lost its pioneering opportunities in aerospace. The various satellites launched during the Soviet era have also reached their warranty years, and Russia has become a little bit weak on satellites. When the GPS system of the United States was launched and it began to frequently use satellites to block enemy signals during the war, making the enemy blind, which seriously stimulated Russia, and they also began to develop a global positioning system to counter GPS. This brand new system is named GLONASS, which contains a total of 30 satellites and can communicate on a global scale. Although it is only arranged on three orbital planes, its accuracy is comparable to that of GPS, and it is a very good communication system. However, the problem is relatively obvious. 
Up to now, GLONASS has only launched 18 satellites, some of which were launched in the former Soviet Union. The technical gap and supporting problems between them have not been properly resolved. On the other hand, Russia's finances cannot provide for subsequent satellite launches. Therefore, Russia will not be able to complete the launch of the follow-up satellite of GLONASS for a long time in the future. In addition, after the introduction of the U.S. Starlink plan, Russia will follow suit and launch the first Sphere Project satellite on October 22, 2022. In the future, more than 600 satellites will be launched successively. However, I am not optimistic about this Russian action. Russia's financial situation is not good at first, but now it has to waste in the extremely expensive field of satellites, which will bring an unusually heavy burden to Russia, and in the end the gains outweigh the losses. There are now a total of 169 Russian satellites in space. Most of the Soviet-era satellites have passed their expected lifespan. These are a mix of military, economic, meteorological, and communication launches from the Russian era, and they still have certain strength. In my opinion, on the whole, Russia is about to leave the first echelon, because the number of its satellites is already ranked fifth in the world. Britain and Japan in front of it are both powerful enemies, and Russia will see no hope of surpassing it in a short time. 3. China's aerospace industry is improving steadily. China has the shortest time to develop satellites and the most difficult process. China's satellite business initially obtained some data and personnel support from the Soviet Union. However, as China and the Soviet Union turned against each other, China began the path of independent research and development, starting from the foundation to build the aerospace industry. Such a hard-working development is of course difficult, but it can also free China from external restraint and dependence. From the very beginning, China has regarded technological innovation as the most important thing, and put more thought into localization. Up to now, China has made great progress in the field of satellites. Taking Beidou as an example, China's Beidou navigation system is divided into three parts. Beidou 1 is responsible for communication and navigation in China, while Beidou 2 and Beidou 3 are expanded to the Asia-Pacific region and the world respectively, realizing the same functions as GPS. There are a total of 45 Beidou satellites, accounting for about one-tenth of the number of satellites in China. China has only 499 satellites in total, one-sixth of that of the United States, ranking second in the world, and more than 100 more than the third-placed United Kingdom. According to the plan of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, China will continue to launch satellites before 2030, increasing the number of satellites in orbit to about 4,000. At present, it will take a long time for China to surpass the United States. In general, human beings will develop into space in the future. The strength of aerospace is the most important test of the level of basic industry. All countries will deploy in this field in advance, make preparations, and accumulate strength silently, so that they will be able to obtain greater opportunities in the future. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Thank you so much for your continuous support. Your precious time with us is highly appreciated. Hot Topics Time, time to explore the wisdom behind the news. We will see you in the next video.